Behind tight security, this is the nerve center of South Korea's successful COVID response, a test and trace system that actually works. Sky News was given exclusive access to the closely guarded program. Lee Jin is an epidemiological investigator, a Poirot of the pandemic, putting together all sorts of data to understand how COVID is spreading through the population. When someone tests positive for COVID-19 in South Korea, their information is uploaded into this system, which was up and running back on April the 1st. Investigators interview the patient to identify their travel history. But they also pull in reams of data, including credit card transactions and mobile phone location history. That produces a transmission network of contacts. For each positive COVID case, 100 close contacts are tested, officials say. In the UK, tracers now only identify two contacts per case. But South Korea is willing to help the British government, if it asks. That system has helped South Korea record just over 500 COVID deaths during the whole pandemic. Unlike countries like Taiwan and New Zealand, it has not been able to effectively eliminate the disease. Instead, it's been dealing with rolling clusters. One of those was centered around a highly secretive and controversial church, responsible for a fifth of the whole country's COVID infections. Today, its members, recovered patients, are donating plasma to help produce treatments. 2020년 3월 5일 날 코로나 확진을 받고 약 2개월 정도 병원에 입원해 있었습니다. The Shincheonji Church of Jesus was accused of obstructing contact traces, and its founder has been charged with hiding information, an allegation the church denies. 바이러스를 고의적으로 퍼뜨리려고 하는 의도도 없었었고요. 이에 대해서 저희들은 성도들이 집단적으로 감염된 것에 대해서 교회도 많이 당혹스러웠던 것은 사실입니다. 조사는 필요하다고 생각합니다. Illness can be turned into treatment. Mistakes can become wisdom. As the UK prepares for life after the second lockdown, it could do worse than learn from South Korea. Tom Cheshire, Sky News.